off on the left, of course, there is a brown pelican. We'll see lots of brown pelicans today, and you guys can become experts on those. If they have a brown head, they were born this last year. A brown and white head, they're two years old. And if they have the all white head, they're three years or older. And uh, I always have to tell everybody, it's great to see brown pelicans here. When I was a kid growing up, I didn't see any down here. I remember my dad getting me out of the truck to show me a brown pelican. Yeah. I was about, oh, about eight or nine years old, so they're really coming up and doing, doing well here. Our brown pelicans stay here year-round. Our white pelicans are migratory. I don't know if y'all noticed when we first pulled into the refuge there, there was a whole pack of them over there. Everybody always gets excited thinking those are different cranes, but uh, they, those are white pelicans that are over there. We'll see quite a few of those today, and they will fool you every time with our hoopers there. You'll have to look at their flight pattern. When they fly, they'll usually fly flap and glide whereas our hooping cranes almost constantly beating their wings. They also have a, a black strip that goes up the back of their wing there where the hooping cranes is just at the tip. Those caracaras are related to secretary birds. If you ever see secretary birds at the zoo. Excellent view here, folks. I can show you some more cranes, but I won't be able to show you much better. These guys are working out there looking for blue crab. They'll take whatever else they can find. They are pretty opportunistic. The one on the left there is doing a little maintenance work there. They do have a, an oil gland that's located on their rear. And you'll see them take that head and stick it into that area there, wipe a little oil onto their bill, and then spread that oil around on their different feathers there. These guys are getting ready for their big flight back up north to Wood Buffalo, Canada, about 2,500 miles, 2,500 to 3,000 miles north. And they will be leaving probably well, starting around March or so. We'll start seeing them kind of take off here. And they do fly in their family groups. And I'll tell you some more here in a little bit here. Just enjoy watching the birds here. I'll tell you some more about them in a minute. Uh, they do travel in their family groups when they travel back and forth between here and Canada. Uh, while up in Canada, they feed on crayfish, insect larva, uh, small fish, whatever they can get up there. They're pretty omnivorous as far as feeding. Down here, they like the blue crab. They will also take uh, Carolina wolfberries. We'll see quite a few of them up in the, in the marsh area there. And they will be feeding on the little cherry tomatoes. You'll see they look like little, little cherry tomato plants. It's called a Carolina wolfberry. There. Uh, they will also feed on roasted acorns. Uh, weeks ago they actually burned up in the refuge up here and right after the burn goes out a lot of the cranes will go up there and feed on those acorns and this is obviously a mated pair here again this pair here this is one we've been seeing up the refuge a little farther here new territory for them here I mentioned about the territories earlier uh, this pair here did not have a juvenile this year and we'll talk about their breeding cycle here in just a minute we all looking at back there, guys. Oh, look at them. <laughs> all right. <laughs> got a, got a, got a, got a way out there. What it does is during the, the fall, we have some really high tides that come in. They fill in all these ponds. Everything goes underwater out here, brings in a bunch of crabs and fish and shrimp and everything into these ponds. And then during the winter time, that tide drops out and it strands all this food in these ponds in the area. And that's what you're seeing these guys feeding on. These guys here aren't actively feeding much right now, but they sure are doing some maintenance work out there. Those black tips. Wow. Oh man, that was great. 